Hello and welcome to Linux in tutorial. Today we are going to learn about how to use the get time of day function in C language. But before we dive into the tutorial, you should know that we need a GCC compiler on our machine. So let's get started with the video. The get time of day function gets the system's clock time. The current time is expressed in elapsed time and microseconds since January 1st 1970. This is also known as the epoch time. In this video, we are going to show you how to use the getTimeOfDay function with some examples but before that we are going to go over its syntax and the argument that it requires to function. The first step to understanding any function in any programming language is to go over its syntax. Well, the syntax of this function is currently being displayed on your screens and as you can see, this function requires two arguments and both of them are of structured data type. We are going to talk about this data type as well as we move on with the video. One important thing to note is that to use this function you need to include the library system slash time. If we talk about the arguments, the first argument points to the time value structure. The time value structure or time val structure is declared in the system slash time file as shown on your screens. As you can see inside the structure, we have two variables tv underscore seconds and tv underscore u seconds. Well, tv underscore seconds is the number of seconds since the epoch time and the u seconds is additional microseconds after the number of seconds calculated since the epoch time. The second argument points to the time zone structure. Normally, the second argument is set to null because the structure time zone is obsolete. This argument is only used for backwards compatibility. Now, if we talk about the return value, on success, the function get time of day returns 0 and for the failure, it returns negative 1. And if we talk about the return values, upon successful execution of the code, the get time of day function returns 0. And in the case of failure, we get a return value of negative 1. Now let's write some code to understand this function. Open up the directory that you want to write some code in. And then here open the terminal and create a new file with the command touch. Once the file is created, open the file in text editor and start writing the code. The first step is to include the libraries. So we're going to include the standard input output library. And then we need to include this library, which is system slash time dot h to use this function. Then we're going to create the main function. And inside the main function at the very end, we're going to return zero which is the template for running C programs. Now the first step is to create two variables of the data type structure. One is going to be named as name value and the other one as current underscore time. Now that we have the two variables we're going to pass them inside this function which is get time of day and inside the arguments we're going to pass current time. We need to use the symbol and and for the second argument, we're going to pass null. Now we want to display seconds and microseconds to our screen. So for that, we're going to use the statement printf. And for seconds, I'm going to write seconds and the placeholder percentage ld. And to move on to the next line, I'm going to use an escape sequence percent uh, slash n. And then I'm going to write microseconds and placeholder percentage ld. Now for the values, I'm going to write current underscore time dot tv underscore second as we saw in the data structure that this returns us seconds and for the second placeholder I'm gonna use the value current underscore time dot tv underscore u second which should give us microseconds I think we are almost done with our program to run this program we need to save this text file and open our terminal and inside our terminal we need to compile it with the GCC compiler gcc dash o and then we write the and the name of the file that we wrote our code in which was time of day dot c as you can see we have successfully created a file to run this file simply write dot slash time of day and as you can see our program shows us seconds and microseconds of the day next up we're going to edit our program in such a way that we pass null values in both the arguments we pass null values like this save the file we need to compile it again using the same command and as you can see we're getting an error that a null argument was passed where non-null value was required 
So that's how you know that you need to pass one non-null value and a null value in the second argument. Next up, we're going to format current time. To format current time, we're going to create the following variables of the structured data type and then a pointer. And then we need a buffer of character data type. And then we're going to pass the variable that we just created to the function with the following line. The second argument will again be null. As you can see, our info variable has the local time value stored inside here. But to use this local time function, we need to include it in the library. Next up, we're going to print out the current time and day in different formats using the following lines. Now we just need to compile our program using the GCC compiler. Compile it again, save the file, go to your terminal and compile the file. Once you have compiled the file, run the file using the following command. And as you can see on your screen that we have successfully formatted current day and time in three different formats. And that is all on how to use the get time of day function in C programming language. Thank you.